everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my Nintendo 3DS user interface guide. Now for the purposes of this video I've had to switch to 3D off, so this is showing you a 2D picture as the 3D won't work very well during the video. Now we're presented obviously with the top screen here and the lower screen is the touch screen. I'm going to use the buttons as much as I can so you don't get my fingers in the video too much. The first thing we're presented with is the Nintendo health and safety information and you do have to take some 3D display uh, precautions. Um, they're recommending that children under the age of 6 uh, do not use the 3D feature. Uh, and also for every user it's recommended that you uh, don't use the feature for longer than about 20 to 25 minutes as it can cause eye strain. The next feature along is where you're going to gain access to the particular game that you've got installed on the memory card slot. Further along we've got access to the Nintendo 3DS camera and this uses either the rear facing or the forward facing camera. With the rear facing camera you've got two camera modules so you can actually take 3D pictures. Next one along gives you access to Nintendo 3DS sound and it's in here that you can make recordings and play them back. The next one along is Nintendo's Me Maker. This is really cool because it actually uh, makes a me from a photo that you take with that front facing camera. Let's start this up. And here you can see Me Maker. Now we've already got two me characters in here that we've already created. Uh, I'm going to actually just view them. So let's have a look at this one. This is actually me. Uh, this one here is meant to look like Davo Mr. Mac from Geekanoids, and it really has done a fantastic job. You pick your favourite colour, and it takes a picture of you and then makes your me face as close as it can uh, to your actual photo really really good enjoyed doing that a lot let's go back out to the home screen and let's move one along again now street pass me plaza this is where you can put your me character and if you're walking along the street somebody else walks past you with a nintendo 3ds as well uh, you will get them come up in your me plaza and you can perhaps connect up with them to play a game Next one along is AR Games, Augmented, Augmented Reality. Again, this is really fantastic. I'm going to show you what this looks like now and then come back and finish the user interface guide. So I wanted to show you AR Games, which is actually uh, pre-installed on the Nintendo 3DS. And what they include is this little pack of AR cards. And AR stands for Augmented Reality. This is really cool. Let's open up this card pack. And what you get is a question mark card and then various characters from the Nintendo range. Uh, the most recognisable is obviously Mario. And it walks you through how to set things up. So let's do that now. Let me pick up the 3DS. It's asking me to press the A button. Get the question mark card out. And then place that on a flat surface. So we're going to place that on the table there. Now you're meant to be working in a well lit area. So I'm hoping that this is well lit enough for the system. And then it's asking you to work roughly about 35 centimeters away from the card. So I'm hoping that when I pull the 3DS nearer to my camera, I've got enough distance. It also says you can move around whilst holding the system. And then it's asking to uh, place the card where it's gonna search for it. It's saying it's found it. And hold the system 35 centimeters away. So we're ready to begin. And then the screen is telling me to uh, keep my aim fixed on this particular little box. I'm going to try shooting it. And you can see that it's telling me to shoot the front. So let's shoot the front of the box. Let's move this around. Come on. Shoot the front. So we've shot the front of the box, and this should get the little character to come out. There we go. So now we've got some targets to shoot. So we have to shoot these targets 
as they appear. I'm using the A button to do this. There's some more targets. Shoot the targets, it's telling me. So I'm using the crosshair, shooting that target, moving the 3DS around. So it might go off camera a little bit. Shoot this target, we we'll move it around to this side, and we're going to shoot that target. And then we've got one in the middle to shoot as well. Really, really cool. Cleared that level. We've got another target to shoot here by the looks of things. Let's say next. So we're going to shoot that. And then we've got some more targets to shoot. Shoot that one. And again, we're move, actually physically moving the 3DS around to shoot these targets. Apologies for this uh, going off screen. There we go. So we've cleared that round. Now at some stage, we're going to be invited to bring in some more cards. So uh, we've got to shoot the statue now. So we've got some uh, targets on the side of the statue. Let's just pummel this statue and get rid of the statue. Oh, there's a target in the mouth. But I'm tr concentrating so hard on keeping this in shot for you that I missed the target on the mouth. So a nice little game. And he's been defeated. So now we can actually um, introduce another card perhaps, let's see if we can do that. So we can choose shooting or question marks, so we can choose some different options now for doing various things, AR shot, shooting or we'll choose here and this is where we get to put some more cards down on the table. So we're keeping this in view all the time. Now we can actually introduce another card. You've got to not overlap the cards as well. So let's perhaps put Kirby in on this side. And as we introduce the cards, the characters uh, come to life. It's really cool. So we put down a character card. Be sure not to overlap them, it's telling us. And we can strike a pose with the characters and take a photo. So you see Mario here. I can actually move him around. And put him perhaps let's put him round the front here and then we can move across to Kirby and then we can move Kirby around to face Mario and then when we're ready we can take a photo and it takes a photo of that particular pose so this is uh, augmented reality it is just a, a bit of fun uh, we're going to save that photo as well it saves that to our memory card and then we can go back to um, to actually moving these characters around so it's a bit of fun we can introduce more cards as well perhaps we want to swap Mario out and bring in another card the animation's really nice as it introduces the new characters let's just move these around so this is really cool very very nice little built in game a lot of fun and I'm sure uh, sort of the kids will absolutely love moving these characters around. Really does give the feeling of 3D um, and and a great use of the built-in rear-facing cameras on the 3DS. The next option along is Face Raiders. This is where you can capture photos of your friends and family, and then you have to move the Nintendo 3DS around. It uses sort of the rear-facing cameras and overlays these faces onto the play area, and you have to shoot them. So really, really fun game. Each level encourages you to take another picture as well. So as you progress through the game, you collect lots of different faces. Then we've got the activity log. If we go into here, let's just tap open. And this gives you some details about how long you've been playing. Uh, let's get the interface up. So this is the activity log. We have got um, 
daily records and also a software library. Uh, the steps you played, the titles you played, if you look at software library it tells you what games uh, you've actually been playing. So here you can see the titles that have been added. So we've got Pilot Wings which we've been playing and if I just go onto here, so here we can tap on the various titles so if we tap on Pilot Wings it tells you how long you've played in the top area here uh, number of times played, average play time etc etc really good you can actually flip pages although all of my pa other pages are empty at the moment but you get the idea, we've also got some uh, Pokemon White version gameplay you can see this has had almost, almost 7 hours gameplay time so it gives you a good a uh, bit of feedback on the games that you've played. Next one along is download play and this is where if you've got another Nintendo 3DS in the family you can connect via Wi-Fi and actually play multiplayer across more than one console without having to have more than one game cartridge. Next one along is the uh, system settings and this is where you're going to change things about your profile, the time etc, internet connection and then last but not least we've got a couple of spare spaces to add extra things in so as you can see the user interface is very well laid out extremely easy to navigate uh, I like the addition of the uh, soft touch buttons underneath for select home and start I like that a lot I think Nintendo have done a very good job with the user interface on the 3DS thank you very much for watching please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geekanoids channel this video is sponsored by MyMemory.co.uk For great prices, free UK delivery and reliable customer support, visit MyMemory.co.uk